hello guys on my last tutorial uh, we have completed all the uh, important configuration parameters from the instance now uh, moving ahead uh, we'll go and check out the parameters for the database parameter okay in day to day life uh, we will be mostly interacting with the database uh, parameter so it is very important uh, a topic which i'll be covering and i'll be going very slowly uh, on each each and every parameter so that uh, you are in sync with me okay so how do we see the uh, database parameter okay so the command will be the sa is very similar to the dbm uh, configuration db2 get db if you give, give m it will be the instance parameter if you give db it will be for the database parameter and for which database so i have a database called test in my system okay so let's see what are the configuration parameter for a database okay now uh, we have uh, so many parameters over here okay so i'm in today's class i'm just going to cover uh, the database uh, this code page code set all this kind of parameter okay now if you see um, there's no variable name here right the, in the database directory the code page the code set the country region the collating se collating sequence there's no uh, uh, parameter or, or the keyword given given here the variable name right so basically it means that uh, we cannot do anything to this parameter which are set right i n even if you see here the release level this this particular parameters we cannot do anything we cannot change it once we have created the database okay now um, it is very important for us to know that uh, the requirement from the application team or from the customer like which code page or code set we may have to use before creating the database because once you create and you are live with all your data it is not possible back to revert back to some other code page unless you drop and recreate the database and then you re-import all of your data okay so it is very important for us to get the requirement as a dba beforehand what kind of data will come in and what kind of output they are expecting from us okay now you might be asking what is a code page and code set right now code page code set determines your collating sequence now basically what is a collating sequence right now uh, basically in database every character like from a to z and small capital a to z small a to z and there might be some special characters right now they are giving given a numeric number okay and when we sort the data this uh, numbers will be used internally to sort the data uh, like sort higher lower or some same as uh, other right so depending on the code page the sorting of the data will vary okay i know it's a little bit tough topic but uh, you just stay with me i'll try my best to make you understand that okay now every character which we store in a database is given a numeric value okay and based on this numeric value internally database database will try to sort these characters okay now you might say why it is important to know right now what happens is you have a business which is exclusively running in china okay and you have a business which is multinational okay so it runs in every country now chinese guys chinese people might say that uh, we want a code set which is very uh, exclusive to chinese people they don't want other uh, uh, numeric digits like dollars and euro symbols and all those things in their database right so they just want specifically chinese um, characters to be stored in the database so depending on their requirement they can use that code page okay now if we try to like insert some dollars or euro symbols into those databases then you might not get the desired output when you select the row okay to solve this kind of um, thing we have something called a unicode database unicode unicode database is basically like a generic database you can get all the characters you can store any kind of uh, symbols special characters everything right but the downside of uh, having a unicode database is uh, every character which, 
will require uh, more space to be stored in the disk okay uh, whereas a non unicode database which is specific to a region uh, the space requirement will be very less uh, for those characters okay well, it is not dealing with the whole set of characters right so for conversion purpose uh, it will store a lot of uh, uh, information in the uh, disk okay so the so space usage is more when you uh, take a unicode database then performance because we have to fetch more data from disk and from the memory and manipulations will be done so performance wise also unicode database is comparatively slower compared to the non unicode databases okay now um, so depending on your business requirement you might have to go with the kind of code set you want to use for your um, database okay now it has to be worked in line with the application and the customer requirement okay now in case you um, for example your your database belongs to a chinese territory and uh, now your business is expanding to different uh, zones like maybe us or europe right so that time you cannot use the same uh, code set for those countries in that in that case you have to migrate your non unicode database to unicode database so basically it would mean that you have to drop your database uh, recreate the database with a utf means unicode and then re import all your data and i'll tell you this is a very tedious task okay um so let's see an example uh, now in this case i just uh, type the command db2 create database database name so by default uh, db2 will create a utf8 which is nothing but a unicode database okay with the code page of 1208 okay now i have given the territory as india so it's showing ian and the country code is 91 which stands for india okay now this this is the default so db2 create database database name if you give it will be the same code page code set okay suppose if you want to give another code page for your your requirements are different right now in that case what will happen let's see okay so here i am creating a non unicode database the name of the database is non uni okay using the code set i am using this particular code set and territory as again india now if you see here my code page is different here Nine twenty three, and your code set is ISO nine eight eight nine one five. Okay. So this is the way you can change your code set while creating the database. And again, I will remind you, you cannot change this parameter once your database is created. The only way you can redo is to drop the database and recreate the database, an empty database, and re-import all your data. uh is an another one important parameter which is uh, all collect okay again um, this parameter uh once you have changed this parameter you cannot change it back again okay this alternate collecting sequence okay and this will work only on a non unicode database okay so if i try to update this parameter here it will not work because it's a unicode database now why we need this parameter okay sometime what will happen is you ha you will have an, a non unicode database and you might want to create some tables which are unicode okay so th that time you have to update this parameter once you update this parameter you will be able to create tables in a unicode fashion okay so basically you are having a non unicode um, unicode uh, data inside your non unicode database okay so again the processing time and everything will be uh, different uh, when you update this parameter okay and there's a limitation like uh, uh, the table the table space where all these tables reside should also be a unicode kind of table space you cannot have a combination of unicode and non unicode tables in the inside that same table space okay so so we have covered till this right okay so it's very important for us to know which code set we have to use 
what is uh, alternate call writing sequence okay and what are the requirements before you create the database okay on my next class i will go through the other parameters um, thanks a lot for watching